Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are talking pelvic health, pelvic floor health, something that I've explored through my yoga classes a lot. So this is just a different aspect of it, Yoni X. So because I feel that they could have a little bit of um, a stage on my platform because they are pretty valuable and I wanted to share with you because we are all um, um, doing so much for our um, physical health and somatic awareness and um, uh, in general healing and uh, pelvic health etc. So I feel this is something that uh, fits in with my platform, platform for sharing with you. Uh, I really, really have been enjoying them, so I thought uh, it's time to do a video on it. All right, so I have put a bunch of notes down so I don't ramble uh, because I want to keep it on the shorter side if I can. Um, so Yoniex, they, they can be quite woo-woo, right? You can hear them, you know, this circles with woo-woo stuff talked about, you know, just uh, sexual energy and... Uh, Kundalini energy and um, chi, etc. But they also have quite a strong physical effect. They're not necessarily for everybody. I'll stay, say this at the at the gateway, but they can really help women of any age, but specifically of um, birthing age, post birth, uh, uh, and menopausal age women with PMS, irregular um, uh, menstruation, etc. So they have a lot of applications that are really practical um, and really good. Now, the physical, um, the physical aspect of it, first of all, it creates circulation because um, when we use any Yoni X, first of all, Yoni X are crystals made out of, the best ones are made out of jade. Um, there is rose quartz, there is anything else you can think of obsidian uh, and um, um, carnelian whatever there is different ones but jade is the most popular one and I'll share the ones uh, I'm uh, I'm really uh, loving because uh, when you're looking for uh, your ex they have to be a certain weight a certain shape and a certain purity um, now, when they improve circulation, when they insert it into the vagina, they can improve um, circulation. Circulation leads to better lubrication, better nutrient, uh, nutrient uh, delivery, um, better uh, muscle tone, um, just a cascade of effects that happen from better circulation. We're all familiar with circulation from the, uh, from the yoga classes. Now, do you need them? If you already do Mula Banda and you do a lot of exercising, kind of yes and no, that is up to you to decide. Because for years I thought I don't need them. I had them, but I had different ones. But I never thought I need them because I was practicing so much jumping, um, Mula Banda, other exercises, and all of that contribute to pelvic floor health. Especially the jumping, of course, it can strengthen the pelvic floor, it can strengthen, strengthen the muscles, the internal organs. It's very beneficial. Mula Banda uh, as well. Yoniex add on to that, but they also add a little bit of a different element because we are working with a crystal and it's in the area of a, the lower dentian, which is considered in, um, uh, in Eastern traditions a, a storage of uh, life energy. Uh, key, it's considered uh, a storage of vitality so it is it, it is a subtle subtle body stimulation of course kundalini energy also the lower chakras are there which the lower chakras are uh, connected to creativity so is the uterus as we all know so it's it can have subtle but profound effects on all these aspects of our creative life our energy our vitality key uh, now, they can be used for overactive uh, pelvic floor, even in physical therapy, 
or for a weak pelvic floor. There is a little bit of a difference how you use them. One is with active relaxation and the other is with active strengthening exercises. In the strengthening exercises, you still practice relaxation, but a little less. You're more focused on the strengthening and then relaxing. In the opposite, you're focusing on the relaxation and exhalation uh, so that you can learn how to relax the pelvic floor, muscles, the vaginal muscles, etc. Because if you habitually uh, store tension in the vagina or in the pelvic floor, you have to do certain you have to apply certain techniques to relax. That's the same if you store in, uh, tension in your shoulders. You have to uh, learn techniques and do certain exercises that help you uh, relax that area. And usually you have to do it over a period of time in order to really um, um, have a lasting effect. You have to revisit it. Um, the vagus nerve end, ends in the pelvic uh, floor. So it can have a profound effect on the autonomic nervous system, on the parasympathetic nervous system, uh, so on re relaxing, healing, etc. Um, it can have a very um, direct effect on the urinary and um, the menstrual uh, the urinary system, and can help with menstrual, menstrual irregularities, menstrual issues. Um, because the lower dentine is the elixir, it's considered life force, elixir field storage of life force, you, there is a subtle energy building effect there. With bladder issues, it's really helpful. Some women notice that uh, their um, a menstruation becomes more regular, less, um, less painful, less um, clumpy. Uh, so it, for different people, it will do different things, of course. And I will talk about the people that should probably not at all uh, use them. Um, now, it has somatic benefits because we store trauma in certain areas of the body. Usually most, or I should say, all trauma is stored in the body. A lot of early memory, trauma, sexual trauma, a lot of shame, guilt, etc. is stored there. So when we start practicing um, with yoga, with somatic um, therapy, with the yoni X, we begin to unveil layers of stored trauma that come into the, um, into the physical work field, into the somatic field. So you don't have to relive uh, the trauma, you don't have to even remember or not actively that you're working with a particular a particular traumatic event, but we start to suddenly work with it. So it can have profi profound healing effects on the somatic body, uh, on the, through the somatic awareness. That is very true with yoga in general. This one pertains more, of course, to the pelvic floor. So if the trauma is stored there, it would be more there. Now the, the vagina is connected to the brain. So it, it, there is a pathway, it's connected to the heart also, through the vagus nerve, but also through the subtle body. So it can have a very um, chain reaction through the brain, through the heart, uh, in a spiritual way, but also in a physical way. Through the, it's, it affects the parasympathetic nervous system, it affects the uh, vagus nerve. Um, now, uh, the way the body stores um, trauma it's really interesting because it's not thought about it that way in um, in traditional um, therapy, uh, but the body tends to accumulate things that were never discharged from the body as an electric charge in the body that ends up getting stored in particular areas in the body. So we become more, we have more uh, pain in, in areas that um, store trauma, we have, um, in certain cases, and in many cases, is disassociation. So, in this particular case with the yoni eggs, uh, disassociation, uh, disconnect, is can can be one of the symptoms, and that brings a feeling back in. Uh, especially when we um, slowly introduce yoni eggs. Yoni eggs. Uh, this was this is the intro that I should have. Um, I should have had. So there is three levels of yoni eggs. The biggest one is the first, the beginner level, usually after birth, older, weaker pelvic floor. 
Um, I've seen way bigger than this, but this in this set that I particularly like and will uh, post in the in the notes. This is the big one. And then after a while, after wearing it first for 30 minutes only and then um, uh, work up to an hour and so forth for a month to three months, then you move into the next set. I have my... Um, middle leg being rose quartz, the big egg being obsidian. They have a little uh, hole for a string. Um, the string is used either for you to be able to take it out or for exercises. Sometimes with a pull and you um, uh, exercise the muscles uh, of the pelvic floor. Really helpful uh, for a lot of things, not just sex sexual health, which is very obvious, but um, you know, um, atrophy of the bladder, um, urinary uh, urinary uh, problems etc it's very helpful it's not only you know it's not a, some sort of a miracle that you'll never need any other work you still need your uh, workouts and your diet and all of that but this is just an additional aspect to our physical work um, this is the um, jade nephritis I think nephrite it is a dark dark almost black jade stone. Uh, the rose quartz is more of a heart centered energy. The black obsidian is more related to trauma and clearing. It's absorbing and it really um, clears, uh, absorbs a lot of stored trauma. Jade is very healing. It's a green stone. It's extremely healing. And that is the most recommended, most common, most um, probably top one uh, to choose. I have the small one, uh, the small one that is the level, the level three or advanced level in jade because I'm obviously going to use that the most. I hardly ever use the obsidian, although because it's obsidian, I will. I find that if it, it's best to get all three because if um, uh, if you've had children, it's better to start with the higher, uh, with the bigger one, and work up to the smaller ones. Your um, when it's inserted, it's inserted and it's worn, your muscles over time will get stronger. Now, the people that have very weak pelvic floor should wait, should not get it because you should start with Mula Banda, you should start with um, low impact, medium impact to high impact over time when you're ready and when you can do it. Um, walking, uh, yoga, different sequences that help you, uh, especially with the the programs that I did for Pilates um, really work with the pelvic floor and that is prerequisite. That's step one. Having some form of uh, uh, feeling there and also some, uh, some level of muscular strength there. So some level of training there because it can, the purpose of the UNIX, one of the pur many purposes is to strengthen the pelvic floor because you have this weight and you learn to to develop stronger muscles, you learn, um, you, you allow the body to build up better circulation there, which circulation can be an issue in, in the uterus, in the ovaries, in that particular area that's for Chinese medicine. So improving circulation is really fantastic and we do it with a lot of the yoga poses. Uh, but if your pelvic floor muscles are really weak, you will want to start without anything, um, but more with Pilates programs, slower moves, somatic awareness, really uh, focusing on developing awareness and sensation and uh, connection to uh, those muscles. The lower, uh, the lower apps usually connect to all that area. It's very good for increasing uh, creativity. As I said, that is on the wool side. So on the, the more physical side, you're gonna have the circulation, the muscle building um, uh, effects. And that extends, um, obviously, to the entire area, colon and uterus and ovaries and stuff, um, intestines. On a, on a more subtle level, and everybody will experience that differently, depends where you're at in life, creativity, um, healing from postpartum, healing from trauma, healing from birth trauma, healing from your own birth trauma, from birthing trauma, etc really good for menopause. Now, it, it, it is said to improve, of course, your sexual life. That is the most obvious effect, uh, not only your reproductive and menstrual 
um, but also orgasms, sexual life, etc., uh, lubrication, all, all of that. On the, on the spiritual side, I've already covered it, it uh, increases somatic awareness. Somatic awareness is everything in healing. If we bring awareness to any part of the body, we are increasing our capacity to heal. Our, we open a whole doorway to healing. Uh, increasing feeling in certain areas that are disassociated, very important. Crystals, on the other hand, have their own healing benefits. Um, more so than a lot of us appreciate or realize, rocks in general are very healing, earth in general is very healing, crystals obviously are the crowning glory of the rock kingdom. They're like the flowers in the plant kingdom. Um, the benefits of crystals is, are, are absolutely fantastic, so that is brought into the picture. Now again, uh, if you're going to be choosing one, it has to be... Um, it has to be really high quality certified uh, that is uh, uh, for this use because you just want to make sure that it is good quality, high quality stone. Uh, the, the holes that are for the strings, the little bit of pain in the ass to clean. The cleaning is pretty simple. You put them in alcohol, uh, hotish water. I don't dare to put them in super hot water because I don't want to crack stones but they, the instructions do say hot water, I do alcohol. Um, the, the tiny hole that is for the strings it's a little difficult to um, to clean and I don't use it most of the time but it is a good addition for beginners for uh, um, removing it and it is a good addition for um, for additional exercises. They're not absolutely necessary but they're part of uh, certain systems. Um, just wearing it alone is of particular benefit, but there is exercise added to it that are optional. Um, now, if you have absolute uh, phobia or stuff of, uh, of using things like tampons and different cups and stuff, it may not be for you. But if, um, if you can do it in a safe way where you bring, um, you, you bring awareness there, it can be extremely helpful. I personally feel that after a certain age and after birth is just fantastic for me. Even though I exercise, even though I think I have a pretty good pelvic uh, floor, uh, pretty good strength, etc. I jump a lot, so you know, jumping usually strengthens your entire pelvic floor. I really highly recommend to never stop jumping. If you're young and you're jumping, plan on it safely for life because it's it's fantastic. If you lose that um, uh, tool, you know, a lot of things change in the body because jumping strengthens the bones, uh, strengthens the fascia, um, detoxes the lymphatic system and uh, so forth and so forth. I think I covered everything. Um, uh, taking it out is with the string in the beginning. After that, you just push it like, like a hen, <laughs> like a, laying an egg. Um, and I think the benefits are so interesting and so different for different people because it depends on what you're working through in your own life that there is gonna be a lot of subtle changes. I think the most common would be with the period and uh, with the entire reproductive and uh, bladder system, uh, bladder urinary uh, system, uh, but it can have benefits on the tailbone, um, on the brain, on the heart, on on the emotions. It can uh, put you in a more relaxed state as well because it's the parasympathetic uh, system. It's fantastic. I wanted to make a video. I've been wanting to make a video uh, for half a year now, and I've been putting it off to just. Um, because we were traveling to have time, etc. But um, just the somatic benefits there are fantastic. And coupled with actually working out, coupled with actual somatic work during the yoga classes, it can be very beneficial. I would say if a person has never done any uh, self work, self reflection, self evaluation, no pelvic floor work, maybe wait. <laughs> and do those kind of more introductory things or more no tool things at first. Because I don't believe in actual true shortcuts in life. I believe that the shortcuts only can be grouped with work. 
and the way we see now so many um, benefits from uh, certain things like uh, peptides or hormone therapy or herbs, I, they always work in combination with our own, uh, how much we work and how much we um, work on the self to, to discharge uh, stored tra trauma, to discharge uh, um, stored electric charge in the body, in the tissues, in, in the muscles, in the fascia. The fascia really um, stores a lot of our uh, mental challenges and when we work on the fascia, on breath work and on um, releasing tension from the body uh, that translates into the emotions and into the mind, it really, um, it really um, prepares us for different work. So if that different work is yoni eggs if, or uh, other, other, other techniques, whenever I work with other things, I'll obviously share them with you. Um, there is so many little tweaks and techniques we can add to what we're already doing. Uh, specifically, yoni eggs are pretty monumental. I, from them, experienced things that I, I didn't expect. I, and for years, I, I didn't even care to use them because I thought I'm, I'm already, you know, p pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, with all the pelvic floor work that we do in our classes, but I was pretty shocked at how fantastic the effects are and just totally um, worth sharing. I think they made a really, um, um, they've been attacked in a lot of magazines, kind of mainstream stuff, because Hollywood celebrities use um, Gwyneth Paltrow was uh, talking about them. So I think they have kind of gained almost like a negative uh, reputation, then they can be really warm. Um, and some of the benefits they, are, they deliver are definitely spiritual, but they're definitely, for me, very somatic. I'm very much into somatic work. I'm not up in here, kind of disassociated. I like to work through the body. I think that's the real work. That's when we come back in. That's when we're not in avoiding things. We're not trying to be woo here spiritual. We're trying to be in the body, and that is a form of spirituality that is nitty-gritty work with reality it's really powerful grounding working with the earth and being present in the body uh, working through relationships working through emotions etc all of these are very important and part of it is done on the mat and a big part of it has to try it has to be in the moments in life in the day-to-day I was reading an article in conclusion uh, that was um, talking about the uh, dangers of them. I don't dismiss that there can be um, uh, dangers with everything, absolutely everything, anything you're going to do, including preparing a meal. There can be, if it's for the first time you're making this and that, you have to take some precautions and know what you're doing. Um, it has to be clean, that's one of the main issues, uh, but you always have to clean them, that is a given. And um, in a very weak pelvic floor, it could potentially um, be too much. But there is workarounds. Uh, once you graduate to the very smaller ones, obviously your muscles have to be able to work with a small one. Uh, and it's, it's a more advanced work. Uh, so it, you add on to the work. You start with a bigger one and uh, work with the smaller ones. You can do exercises. You can do yoga with them, etc. Over time, you can add add them into your yoga practice, etc. Um, but I read an article, and the article was stating that they're dangerous because infection can happen if they're very if they're dirty or they have bacteria on them, which obviously they should be cleaned. And it's very easy to clean them, by the way. It's just a stone, and you can soak them in alcohol too. You can have um uh, like um. A particular jar dedicated for them and dip them in the alcohol for 30 seconds. Um, the article concluded that you're much better off taking antidepressants for menopausal symptoms than working with this. And because I think one of the claims is possibly that it helps with depression, which I'm not sure if that was the claim or not and why, uh, but it was definitely saying you're better off 
suppressing your stuff than doing something that that is a somatic type of work. I have a little bit of hair in my uh, hair got stuck in my eyebrow. Anyways, eyelash. Anyways, that is the that is my cue to just go make dinner <laughs> and uh, leave you with that. I hope this helps you. I think some of you will really benefit from them, and if you're not ready for them, no pressure because we do so many things and you truly don't have to do everything this is not one of those things where it's a mandatory like you're just absolutely must get it but i do think it's monumental the changes that i have seen from using them there is a little bit of a subtle effect that i get on my motions and moods kind of uplifts me or makes me more like happy I think is the word, I don't know, it's, it's just very subtle, but it's it's very subtle. I forget, sometimes I, I wear them while I'm working in the garden, and I don't even remember uh, that I'm wearing them, but I do notice that it affects even my kind of mood uh, subtly. Uh, it definitely has brought more pelvic floor uh, strength and... Um, I'm sure there is an effect on uh, my periods, but that I will keep for another time just to, uh, to, to kind of observe it a little more in that regard. Uh, but anyways, that is it. I will list below. If, if you have anything to add to this, please drop it in the comments. As usual, I would like to hear from you and also give it the video a like, comment. I just say hi because it helps with my <laughs> algorithm. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Namaste.